this is Edgeworth's bedroom eyes? Not impressed, says little Lord Kratos. <laughs> Those bedroom eyes. It takes a lot to impress his bedroom eyes. <laughs> what? Never mind. <laughs> Please. There's no excuse for what I've done. There's no excuse for what I've done. Two years ago, I used false evidence to obtain a guilty verdict. That's what it all breaks down to, and nothing I can do can raise that fact. It wasn't really your fault, yeah. But you didn't know, did you? I mean, that the evidence was falsified? The police department and the prosecutor's office share a bond of trust. If that bond is broken, we stand to lose everything. The police department's error is my error, my responsibility as the prosecutor in charge. The fact remains that the same no matter what excuses I might have. Mr. Edgeworth, touch me. <laughs> I take pride in my work. So tell me why, why has it all come to this? <laughs> Even Edgeworth can't keep his kind of emotion bo this kind of emotion bottled up. Tomorrow is trial. Are you up for the trial tomorrow? First, <laughs> last year's trial, and now oh. this one. It seems all you do is worry about me. <laughs> yeah, that's a weird case. <laughs> to be honest, you're getting on my nerves. But Mr. Edgeworth, you can't just walk out on the trial. Tomorrow is the last day. It's too late to change prosecutors. <laughs> I bet that's why my superiors are banking on. I've never thought the cases would come back to haunt me like this. <laughs> What do you mean? The list of evidence it seems too short. Most lists run twice as long. It's only half as long as most lists? That is odd. I don't know anything. <laughs> After Neil Marshall was murdered, I became prosecutor for that case. I may not have been a part of the investigation. But at the time, there was only one thing on my mind. I'd use the evidence I was given to prove the suspect guilty. Say, we just saw a picture taken around that time. That picture? Something seems strange about it. Let's show it. Uh. Beep, 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 beep. Ah, fuck me. God damn it. I really should just let you present it from there. There's no reason not to. Yeah, man. There we go. This picture was hanging on the wall in Chief Gant's office. We stole it. And he kicked us out for some reason. Prosecutor Neil Marshall. He had just started making a name for himself. Looks like this was taken when he received the King of Prosecutors trophy. Speaking of that, there's something that bothers me. Yes? The trophy Mr. Marshall is holding... It doesn't have a tip on the blade! Look at the blade! Look at the sword on it! Huh? Look at the sword on the trophy he's holding! Oh. The tip is missing! I didn't realize Just like that the was murder supposed weapon. to be a sword. It's a sword. It's supposed to be a sword. You didn't realize it was supposed to be a sword? What'd you think it was? Lightning bolt. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you think that that thing, that gold thing on the front was? A K. Oh, okay. So you oh, understand that. I thought that was a lightning bolt. <laughs> 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 All right. It's a little different than yours. What are we, lo are we looking at? His or Edgeworth's? Yes, you're right. I remember now. Remember what? That was the official prosecutor trophy used until that time. Oh, they pass around the same one. There's a story behind it. A story? Sounds interesting. Would you mind telling us? 
It's simple, really. Contradiction, that's what the award's based on. Alright, I guess we have to talk again. I want to know more about the trophy. This award originates from the ancient Chinese tale. In Chinese, the word contradiction is written with two characters. The first means halberd, the second means shield. Oi, could you imagine having to learn that fucking language? Could you Chinese, imagine? Chinese, yeah, that would be hard. It's like it's like you're you're a kid learning Chinese writing, and you're just like, you're like sword shield. No, you stupid kid. That means contradiction. Yeah. Clearly, <laughs> sword shield. I, okay. <laughs> I considered it in university, and there's some Asian girls across from me. They grew up in, like, a Chinese family, and they were taking it. Yeah. And they said it was hard as hell, and they had oh, some man, background that would suck. in it. Yeah. Yeah, that would suck a lot. Man. Over 8,000. What? It's not over 9,000. Yeah. Had a real opportunity there. Yeah. Blew it. And on top of that, you're going to be a little guy going, wing gang. And then your dad goes, wing, wing, ding, 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 dong, dong. <laughs> That's even meaner when you put it in that. Are you just I fine? want to offend every people <laughs> every episode so that it's fair. I thought there was more than that there. So I was, I was searching for something. <laughs> Look, listen. <laughs> Chinese people yelling sound way meaner. Than almost do. any other race, or I mean, any other uh, culture or language. Yeah. Eh? And that's, that's just them talking. Yes. <laughs> it's a very aggressive way of we talking. We live beside Chinese people. They will be outside having a casual <clears throat> stroll to get together. You'll hear like screaming yeah. at each other, like, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> and then you go outside to be like, who the hell's yelling at each other? It's just two old people just going like, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> like this, like, but they're arms behind their, they're so cute. They're behind their back, guys. but they're oh screaming at each other. <laughs> it's like, Jesus, is that the only way to say these things? Maybe they're both hard of hearing. Actually, they could be. They're pretty old. Aww. Anyways. German people are the only people who are angrier. Yes, they are also very... <laughs> See, that's another thing. We were talking about this yesterday, about how, like, Jews seem semi-off limits when I do their voice. Uh-huh. But others don't. Like, we can do Germans. <laughs> like, I, I can do an evil German. And I can say that all Germans are evil, and yet nobody's offended by that. Nope. Just I'm because sure of are. their shitty history? I was That's drinking. like saying all Americans are slavers, and that's funny, too. Because it's not true. <laughs> I was uh, drinking with a couple of Germans the other day, yeah. and they were saying how they feel they owe it to the rest of the world to try and keep their cool in all situations. Because <laughs> some, guy, some guy was being a dick to one of their friends, Yeah. So, they, but they were just like very calm and talking to him. And they, they told us about it afterward, and they're like, yeah. Talking to him in German, <laughs> calmly? You know, we can't cross that line anymore. You mean they were having a conversation in German and they were no, angry? No, 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 no. But... Another guy was, it was... Oh, okay. Yeah, another conversation the guy was just being a dick to one of their friends <sighs> it was pretty funny i need to know more german words so i can do more impression all i can say is uh that old conan sketch ich nicht rocket! <laughs> which means it's not at a 90 degree angle because <laughs> conan o'brien had this game show that where it was like this lady's like yeah ich <laughs> he comes along with like a protractor. He's like, "He's not stalking block," and they come in and shoot her. It's fucking. Am oh wait, maybe they don't shoot her. Maybe she's dragged off by one. a dog. I think, or like a a a, a guard at, with a, a a dog. It's amazing. <clears throat> Anyways, all right, tangent over. All right, the first time Halbert in the. I'm just explaining what seems to be extremely offensive impressions of people. I don't give a shit. All right. That's not German. <laughs> What? What is it then? I'm German and I didn't understand. Ich nicht. Ich, well, ich, your pronunciation could be ich, quite off. Ich nicht Stockenblock. <laughs> Half of what Germans say sounds like they're choking on it. Ich nicht Stockenblock. You should blame Conan. <laughs> redheads. All right. Fucking redheads. Stockenblock. All right. The first meaning halberd, the second meaning shield. <laughs> Have you heard this story? Have you heard this story? Me? Uh-oh. 
Uh, sure, everyone knows that. Why don't you tell it, though, for Emma's sake? <laughs> Very well. <laughs> Oh god. Jesus. Really? Wow. Long ago in the kingdom of Chu. <laughs> oh, whose race is now Japanese? Chu. Obviously a made up Chinese word. There was an arms, an arms merchant. One day he presented the king with two items. The first was the halberd. He claimed was sliced through any shield or armor. The second was a shield he claimed would withstand any weapon. Hmm. Wait a minute. Objection! Those claims are contradict each other! Stop doing that, right? Uh... <laughs> God, I hate you! <laughs> That's fucking amazing that that music started up for this. <laughs> I just thought of another Chinese accent that I can do that's less seems less offensive. Uh, Mandarin. Sure, sure. Sure, 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 sure. Have you ever seen a Mandarin movie? I have. It just I'm sounds... I'm impressed that you know the difference. Yeah. Am I right, guys? Is I that what a uh, Mandarin impressed. sounds like? Sure, 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 sure. What about Japanese? Sure, 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 sure. It's still effective. <laughs> <laughs> hey, which movies? What about, what about Japanese? Oh. What do they sound like? So this name... They... Japanese always sound English with a Japanese accent. I don't know. Oh, they always sound like oh, yeah. Saki. They oh, say yeah, Saki at the end of yeah. every word. Uh, How about Koreans? Questions. Eh? Koreans? Koreans? I don't know Korean. I don't know what Korean sounds like. The vast, vast majority of Chinese people speak Mandarin. I wonder what the ones around us are speaking then. Could be Mandarin. A lot of people speak Mandarin. Probably, right yeah. But what is the Ching Chang kind of sounding? <laughs> well, how else do you describe it? I know, I know, I just love it. Ing Ang. Okay, uh, if I take away the C H at the beginning, is it less offensive? No, because then people, Ang, would, people wouldn't know what you were talking about. Okay, well, whatever. It's Cantonese, <laughs> Cantonese, maybe. Okay. Well, that's the majority around here of what you hear. I don't think I've ever heard the the S H sure sure sort of sound. Sure sure. Sure sure. Perfect. It's what it sounds like. All right. Those claims, con these claims contradict each other. Very perceptive. But then again, you've heard the story before, right? <laughs> anyway, you mentioned the very descriptions of those items discredit them both. When the, when the king pointed this out, the merchant was left speechless. And thus the Chinese word for contradiction was born. Sword shield. <laughs> Sense. Sounds a little Mongolian. That's a dumb story. Oh, I see. The chip shield and the broken knife symbolize... A contradiction. That's not little Mo Mongolian. A little Mongolian sounds like... Uh... <clears throat> the, uh... Okay, uh... Oh, God. <laughs> I can't remember. What do they serve at Mongolian restaurants? Noodles, right? No, uh, they've always I got can't think of something. Big grill. Mongolian grill. Oh. Yes. You know? Put those noodles out of the grill! <laughs> Says the little Mongolian. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Nope. Chip shield broken knife symbolize. Oh, so the tip wasn't, like, broken. I was starting to postulate that that broke off and mm -hmm. that ended up being the murder weapon somehow. I get it. But it's purposefully broken. Yes. The ancient tale ends with the merchant and the at a loss for words. At a loss for words, but it's in our nature to pursue matters to their conclusion. Even if it results in something as ugly as this. Wow, thanks, Mr. Andrew. I learned something new today. That's funny. If that's so, then why were you given a shield? You'll have to ask Chief Gantam. Two years ago, he had the halberd part of the award abolished. Oh! So... Uh, this is weird. Chief Gant. King of Prosecutor's Trophy updated. <laughs> Fra Fra Fraser's on a fascist roll. <laughs> I think you missed a problem with Edgeworth's explanation?
I don't... I don't know. I, I didn't see any problem with his explanation of that story. Could you tell us again what, ha what happened that day? The day Detective Goodman was murdered? You were participating in the ceremony over at the station, right? I've never cared for ceremonies, but I had to attend that one. Because you were awarded this? Those receiving awards can't exactly skip out on the ceremony. I finished up in the office that morning and drove over to the police department. You finished up at the office? Yes, it's just odds and ends, clerical stuff. I didn't plan on returning to the office that day. That is until I was asked to take something back. Such take something back? Devious eyes from him. <laughs> His curvy nose smile. Yeah. Weird. You do that again? Do it for them. <laughs> Show them. Show them. I was. That's not where the camera is. I was looking oh, there so many times. <laughs> Stop giving them the finger. I'm not. Almost. <laughs> this. Oh yeah, Chief Fantas didn't hold on to that, did he? Yes, it was a piece of evidence in the case that was closed half a year ago. He asked me to bring it to the chief prosecutor's office, or the prosecutor's office. That story we heard yesterday. So you came back here to the prosecutor's office because the chief asked you to. Mm. That's right. That's all we have to say about all this? That's it. So, what does the evidence look like now? I mean, this was updated, so it says... Sword, the halberd was removed. Alright, I guess that that's it then. Where should we go after this? Because of my, my tangents, this has gone long. We'll uh, come back, I guess, with the, another location. But I'm not sure where... Oh, examine the room. Oh, the paper on the ground. That's what oh, we need to yeah. do here. Oh, do Is it. he going to let us do this? Yeah. Yeah, damn. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of bold. Emma, create a distraction. I wonder what he was writing before. Come on, Mr. Wright. Let's take a look. Are you crazy? Edgeworth is sitting right here. Just distract him. I'll check it out. Have a, have a who? Have a dee dee we do. Oh, uh, hey, Edgeworth. Is that Detective Gumshoe? He's out the window there. Oh no, he's falling to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. First, let me see what that girl's doing crawling around my feet. <laughs> he didn't even look. <laughs> <laughs> what? But our, r r r if you can't read, I'll read it for you. It says letter of resignation. Oh. <laughs> 